So, um, I may not be vegan no more, y'all. Film at 11. This is a world. This is a world. So, before I get into the details of this, I'm, first of all, I'm heading to the grocery store, y'all, so y'all just have to bear with me. Before I get into, um, I'm trying to de decide if I should go to Whole Foods. Oh, man. Mm, I'm not sure where I want to go. Anyway, so y'all, before I get into the whole state of whether or not I'm, I'm actually vegan, um, I want to fill you guys in on some stuff. First of all, I want to continue welcoming all these new subscribers to the channel. I don't know where you guys are coming from, but you're finding your way here, and I'm glad to have you. And I hope that I'm not, uh, I hope I'm not traumatizing anybody. But uh, yeah, so I hope you are, uh, I hope you're enjoying the content, and really, I'm really grateful to have you here. I'm gonna shout out my girl Megan Tonjes because. I just know, I know that there's an off chance, it may be super slim, but I know that there's an off chance that Megan may actually be uh, partaking of some of this, might actually be watching this particular video, I don't know, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a wild guess that there is a, I'm just gonna throw it out there that there is a, a wild possibility that Megan may be catching the channel, and uh, just know that my, uh, one of my goals for this year is to is to meet uh, Megan, who I think is from Michigan, and that's really why, because uh, just getting a chance to, because it's a po it's a possibility, that's all. So there's that. Then uh, another thing is that uh, you know that me and Ethan, well me and Ethan, Ethan's been actually doing a lot of work, have been planning this uh, Pedagogy and Theater of the Oppressed Conference. It's the 2017 Pedagogy and Theater of the Oppressed Conference. I believe it's the 22nd time this conference is being conference is being offered. I'm really, really thrilled. Things are shaping up, but uh, you know, we had our conversation about we had our conversation about food at the last um, at the last uh, planning meeting. And uh, what's great is it's a national and an international conference, actually. Uh, being thrown by a national organization, but what's really cool is that they always they always have a local planning committee and that's really the group that I'm uh, responsible for organizing is the local planning committee and you know it's a lot of folks who have been engaged in some really cool work here in Detroit for a really long time and it's really an honor to be able to to collaborate with them in, in making this conference happen. But we had a conversation at the last meeting, which was on Monday, about food. And, you know, I put it out there as a proposal to the planning committee that we have, that we offer a vegan menu. Just not, not, a, not a vegan menu, that the entire conference, that all of the food that we offer at the conference be vegan. And it was like it was unanimous that that we uh, that we do that, and that was really, really cool, right? To know that you had a group of people who were just so open in their thinking and understanding of what a social justice-related conference is about that they would think, sure, of course the food should be vegan because we don't want to have anyone feeling alienated in that space. So there's there's a little bit of that so, that intersectionality at work. You know, I'm not trying to rub that in anybody's face, but that's a little bit of that intersectionality at work. Anyway, so I'm all happy about that. Um, you guys also know that I've been really trying to shift the way that folks have been talking. There have been a lot of uh, things that I find really uncomfortable in the way that people have been talking about this whole, you know, the whole lawsuit thing. And, you know, I'm a person who comes from a, you know, place of nonviolence, and I know that that can be frustrating for a lot of people, but I'm always trying to think, is there a better and less... coercive, violent, harsh solution to a problem. And 
so that that doesn't always sit well for people because some people like things to be just black and white. I once got into a fight once with someone who insisted that someone should get the death penalty because of a crime that they had committed. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what does that, how does that, you know, I don't know, maybe it saves us some money because we don't have to warehouse that person, but I don't know. So, okay, also you guys have to forgive me because I'm, I'm working on my, uh, I'm driving and I'm, you know, working on my phone and my phone unfortunately will not, uh, it goes out of sync. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but if you make a large video, long video on your iPhone that it goes out of sync, it may have something to do with like the size of the file and how much uh, memory I have left, but it's not cute when you're trying to edit the video and all of a sudden things aren't, things aren't working. But yeah, so I had that disagreement with uh, this friend of mine about the death penalty and just this idea that there are some people who deserve to die and it, you know that that just didn't sit well with me and it put the person out a little bit I don't know I don't know why I put them out so much excuse me y'all so I gotta I gotta pay attention for a second I'm, I'm jumping on the highway a little bit and I got somebody right on my tail um, so yeah that you know this whole idea of trying to be the least invasive in our social surgeries, <laughs> trying to do things in the way that creates the, the greatest opportunity for repair and for bringing others in back into the community. And you know, people are hearing that and they only hear that as me, you know, not being understanding of the situation. And y'all, I'm not trying to I don't want to be condescending, but I'm old. <laughs> you know, I'm older than I look. I'm not a child, right? I've been through these things. I felt these things. I've wanted vengeance. I've wanted vengeance. And I have never in my life, through the use of some kind of coercive means or uh, authoritative means, gotten satisfaction about something, ever. You know, I've always been left feeling like, you know, my, I've always, I'm going to say this, I have always felt better when there is, when the, when a relationship has been salvaged. To me, being able to salvage a relationship, to heal a relationship is always much more satisfying. And I've held grudges for a long time. It's my dad's birthday today, by the way. And I actually was estranged from my dad for about 30 years, for about 30 years. And trust me, if y'all think y'all have a reason to hate Charles Marlowe, I feel like I was pretty, I feel like I had pretty sound reasons for um, harboring resentment, hatred even, towards my father. But man, nothing felt as good as healing that relationship. I don't know. And you wouldn't have been able to tell me a year before it had happened. A year before it had happened, you would not have been able to tell me that that was ever going to happen. But being able to reheal that relationship meant so much to me. You know, and I hear people talk about people in their families who they harbor resentment towards and are justified in, the, in that resentment towards these people in their families. They're justified. But I'm telling you, that that hatred not having to carry that around was such a relief All right, so I decided to go to the Whole Food oh, okay cool thanks um, yeah y'all I decided to go to the Whole Food so I'm just pulling into the parking lot and then I'll just finish this up because uh, I think it's time I got to the heart of uh, the 
the matter and explain to you guys why I don't think I'm vegan. I don't think I, well, for one, I don't think I passed most people's test. And this is funny because I, you know, I'm setting up a whole vegan center. <laughs> I'm setting up a whole vegan center, right? And, you know, I feel like I was really proud to be able to bring, you know, this analysis about, you know, animal, animal rights and animal advocacy to a whole space, right? And dedicate a whole space to that, right? Which is no different than people who like have have like vegan restaurants do, right? But to have created a space for that analysis makes me feel so good. I feel like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I have no, tr you know, I don't regret that at all. And, you know, doing things like, you know, being in spaces where, you know, like the conference, there's gonna be about 300 people at this conference. They're going to see that there was a group of people in Detroit that were committed enough to, you know, nonviolence and an intersectional um, analysis of the world we're in right now to say we're going to try to be as, you know, non exploitative as possible, even in the food that we're offering people. So to me, you know, that that was awesome. But I don't think that that's I don't think that that's what this vegan thing is about. That's not what I'm getting as far as the practice is concerned. Because I see who these big names are. I see who the people who are being followed. And as far as I'm concerned, those are the people who are really representative of the culture. Right? Those are the people who other vegans are you know, really supporting. Those are the people that, you know, people are signing their name up. They're clicking that subscribe button, right? And they're clicking it the most for some people who mm, I got some real questions about, right? And, you know, there's one person in particular, right? There's one that one person in particular who I don't think, you know, as much as I am interested in broadening my analysis to include animal rights, I don't see that doesn't go two ways for me. And, you know, I hear all this talk about, well, you got to work with some people that you don't like. And I'm like, well, okay, if you got to work with some people that you don't like, then <laughs> doesn't that include like black people? <laughs> doesn't that include social justice warriors? Doesn't that include feminists? I don't know. Doesn't that include all of these people that, you know, that I hear folks talking about, all these groups that I hear folks talking about and saying how dogmatic they are, yet the the most dogma, it seems to me, is coming from the people who have found justifications for excluding other people from the group. And I felt it really strongly when I made, you know, some comments a few days ago when I was talking about this, you know, whole you know, legal case. And it was like, oh, whoa, wait a minute, y'all. That's dicey. <laughs> y'all ready to hate on me? Oh, y'all ready to throw me out with the, y'all ready to throw me out with the garbage, right? Because I said something that people didn't like. And I don't want to be part of anything that's like that tentative. <laughs> I don't want to be part of anything where your membership can be revoked without real, like, without some real clarity about what it is that people are standing for, right? And I'm going to offer an example of a video that I watched recently, and it was, you know, it was Vegan Gains, and it was Vegan Gains talking about the whole, you know, bear thing, the person who was the, you know, carnist who was defending carnism, and um, Vegan Gains pulled out a gun. Vegan Gains pulled out a gun. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I live in a, in a concealed carry state. Right, I have hung out with people who carry guns who would never pull out their gun as a threat, who would never pull out their gun to intimidate someone. But to see Vegan Gaines pull out a gun in the name of animal rights? So that's kind of what it boils down to. 
I, I, I like people more than animals. I, I'm not one of those vegans who, I'm not one of those people who will say, I care about the animals and hate what people have done to this planet, especially in the hypocrisy of like all the horrible things that I see people doing that are contributing to the devastation of the planet. They're contributing to the devastation of the planet in all of these different ways, right? You know, I drive this car, right? I can admit that, right? So I'm not going to sit here and judge somebody for the harm that they are causing on one side when I haven't found a way to be completely harmless. I haven't found the way to do that. I haven't found a way to be that. So, yeah, I'm like, that's not cool. Also, like, you know... I want to belong to a community where I could say we're having a gathering of the people who are part of this community and feel like when I entered that space, I knew where I stood. I, I was, I knew that we were in agreement about what it means as far as each other are concerned, right? So it's one thing to be in a space with vegans who all say, well, we don't want to hurt animals, but I don't know if you're going to go and like molest somebody, rape somebody, kill somebody, steal from somebody, um, you know, uh, slander somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is all that is going on in this community. You know, be a Nazi, <laughs> be a white supremacist, right? Be an alt-right, be in the alt-right, right? Right. So the fact that principles other than the non-exploitation of animals have been utterly removed from this community, I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that, y'all. I don't want to hurt no animals. I don't want to hurt no animals, but I'm sorry. That's like not my top priority. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see... A person who can look me in the eye and ask for help, go without help. Right? I don't want to see some, I don't want to know about the famine crisis that we're in right now. And knowing that that, that crisis has to do with the over-militarization that is going on in the United States. Right? It, does, it has to do with the materialism that is going on in the United States. Right? And those are things that we need to speak out about if we really care about the planet in general, the planet in general. So I'm y'all like, I'm like, I'm like, do I even want to, I might have to take that out of my name. <laughs> I might have to delete all my vegan content. You know what I'm saying? Just because um, if we can't agree on how we're going to treat each other, I don't think that we can trust how we're going to treat anybody else. If I can't treat somebody right when my reputation is on the line, how am I going to be sure how this person is going to do when the door is closed and nobody's watching whether they, you know, decide to throw on a, you know, chicken breast or what have you, what have you? Or what they do with their friends or who their friends are. You know, are you even the only vegan that you know? You know what I mean? Are you really advocating to bring other people into the into the movement? So I'm like, yeah, so so that's where I stand right now. I don't even know at this point right now with what is going on in the so-called, you know, vegan YouTube community. I don't even know if I can call myself that. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't bring any of you to meet my friends. Not any of you. I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of you that I wouldn't bring uh, 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 bring uh, to meet my friends. If there was a gathering today that said a vegan gathering, I wouldn't bring somebody that I'm cool with into that space because I couldn't be guaranteed that, you know, somebody like Vegan Gaines wouldn't be in there pulling out a gun and acting all wild and talking about how he's a member of the alt-right and he's proven that vegans can be, you know, you know, white nationalist. And I'm sorry, Vegan Gaines, but you probably wouldn't be accepted into the alt-right because 
they don't want your black ass in there. I'm sorry, baby. They don't want your black ass in there. And if you think the alt-right is not a white supremacist, white nationalist group, then you need to do your reading. You need to do better research. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. Um, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself the way I'm